Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of some of the features that are coming out in N5 version 3. N5 is the InDesign to HTML5 exporter. So here I am in InDesign. I'm going to show you that I've got a very sophisticated text frame here. Take the selection tool and select this and show you this is just one text frame. It's got three columns and inside of it, it also has a headline that spans all the columns. That headline has paragraph shading. That's this light blue background. You'll also note that I have a paragraph in here that spans two columns inside of itself. It actually splits into two columns. I have a table with some complicated formatting in it like merged cells. Uh, I've got you know highlight color and I have a hyperlink in one of these cells. And in the last column, I also have a callout. This callout is made with paragraph shading again, so it makes a blue box around the paragraph. There's also a grep style that makes the first line bold, so it kind of looks like an internal headline inside the callout box. So I'm just going to take all this and go up to File and choose Export HTML5 within 5. And here's the version 3 dialog, so you can see it now looks a lot more like the InDesign dialog and it will change with your InDesign styling. So if I went into the interface and changed my theme to light, you see that the N5 dialog now matches that as well. I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to choose to render the text as HTML so we can see all this advanced formatting come through. Before I click OK, I'm just going to mention that with InDesign's new GPU rendering, N5 runs lightning fast. So when I click OK, I'm going to try and talk through it so that you can see I'm not making any cuts to this video uh, because you won't even see the progress bar run. So right now I'll click OK and I'm just going to keep talking and it'll run for a second here and bam, it's done. So there was no progress bar in there at all. I'll click OK to open it and you can see that we have the headline spanning multiple columns. There's the paragraph shading just as it was in the InDesign document. Here are live columns built inside of here and I'll show you they're live in a moment. This, uh, this paragraph splits into two columns. This table is all live text. The merged cells work appropriately. The link is live. So I click that and go to a web page. And here's the call out with the background shading and the bold line. So just to show you that this is indeed live column and live paragraph spans. I'm going to go in to the web inspector in the web browser here in Chrome. I'm going to go up and select the text frame itself and I can actually change the number of columns. Change it to two for instance. Now there's two columns. Now if I'm playing around with this I have to uh, change the overflow because now there's text overflowing with the two frames. I'm just going to change the overflow to hidden for right now just because I'm demoing this. That this is all live text. You can see everything is reflowed and I could set the I could set it to be a single column just like this. You can see everything is still live. There's stu still two columns built into this. So you can see how this is going to be handy as we start adding responsive design features as well because you could actually have the number of columns shift as the layout changes. So these are just a few of the features that will be available in N5 version 3. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video.